So there we have it. Um, it's been a fantastic day today, I have to say. The turnout has been fabulous. Uh, the turnout from the politicians has been fabulous. But obviously there's a number of people we need to say thank you to, because this doesn't happen by itself. Um, now, I might be at this particular moment, the kind of public face of pop, but I can absolutely 100% assure you, I do not do most of the work for pop. In fact, there's a couple of people down there working very hard behind that banner, producing a press release as we speak, aren't you, Sally? So, there are incredible amount of work within the pop team itself, so please, 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 can you give the other members of the pop team an absolutely huge cheer? <laughs> As well as that, to make today happen, it's happened because a lot of people have worked on the day very, very, very hard. You'll have seen people going about with the kind of blue tops. There's one just standing right there. Hello, Alex, who's giving you a wave. These, he, this is our, sorry, is it headmaster or? Head marshal. Head marshal, not headmaster, as they said on BBC Radio Scotland yesterday. But these guys have worked really hard, they've kept you all right, doing what you need to do, being where you need to be, and they're doing it for, well, at that time, very little thanks, but right now is when we should give them a lot of thanks. So thank you very much to the Marshal. But as well as that, there have been people organising something, not here in Edinburgh, but in Aberdeen. Now, I'd just like to say, we at POP, the, the standard POP as we are just now, we weren't the ones that organised that. There was a group of folk up in Aberdeen who just thought, no, we're going to do this because we want change up here as well. So I think we should give Aberdeen a huge big cheer as well. <laughs> if anyone wants to hold any in another city in, Gla in uh, Scotland, please let us know. Um, to spread the word of Pedlam Parliament, we didn't do it. You guys did it. The amount of people that will be going out on, well actually recently it's been not on raining, but most, you know, there have been people out in rainy days, cold wet mornings, flying bikes, chalking the roads, doing many, many, many things to kind of spread the word. It has been incredible and this only happens because of all these people. So I think we give a th big thank you to everybody that's helped. Okay, just, so I'm going to interrupt the thank yous just now. I'd just like to say there is nobody that does more writing of anything on the, the website, etc. than Sally, so Sally does a fantastic job. So, there are many, many others, and in fact, one of the other people I want to thank is this chap who's taking a photograph of me on the left here, Chris Hill. The, hi Chris. There is some forum, he's one of, there's one of the forums, but this one especially, the City Cycling Edinburgh Forum, it does a great job of not only spreading the word, but getting folk out volunteering, doing work. So thanks Chris for running that and for all those who are on that forum as well. Thank you very much. We're in Edinburgh and to do this today we had the roads closed. Now. Some of you may have heard that actually there was a similar demonstration being organised in Newcastle and 12 hours before it, they decided they weren't going to close the roads. Now, the reason for that, get this, the reason for that is they didn't think it would be safe enough. Right? So they didn't think cycling on the roads was safe enough. So in fact, the council have agreed with the whole point of the reason why they've cancelled it. So it's absolutely crazy. But we're lucky being in Edinburgh because we have a council that actually understands and support cycling. And in fact, recently has introduced, or is in the process of introducing 20 mile an hour zones. And so I really think, you know, I think when people do something good, we need to say they've done something good. So thank you, Edinburgh, and keep up the good work. I'm personally hoping that someday from Glasgow City Council is here to listen to that. Um, Pop had a secret HQ, and I really just want to say thank you to Laidback Bikes, who are a bike shop who sell the unusual bikes, they're fantastic bikes. Just a quick thank you to you guys for helping us out today with our secret HQ, which is now no longer secret. Um, um, 
you may have noticed some of the fantastic posters that we have that, and the t-shirts as well. The, the artwork on this is phenomenal. So we just like to thank Andy for, is Andy here today? Wait, where, where are you Andy? Okay, I can't see him, but it's really absolutely unbelievable work. If you're ever looking for his work, he's online as Magnificent Octopus. So he's fantastic. Thank you, Andy. We're getting there. Now, people have come from far and wide today, so really I want to thank every single one of you for coming, either from Edinburgh, from Glasgow, etc. Absolutely say thank you. But the furthest that we know that somebody has cycled is from Elgin. And that's Melanie. I don't know if Melanie's around. Oh, there she is over there. I think we need to give a big cheer to Melanie. The other group of people, and I don't know if many of them are actually still around anymore. The reason being is, to some extent we don't need them, because you're so well behaved. But we really need to say thank you to the police force in Edinburgh. They've done a marvellous job. Those of you who were here the very first year will have seen the absolute utter panic they went through when they realised there wasn't 300 cyclists, but 3,000 cyclists. Now they know what to expect, but they do a fabulous job. They really helped everything run smoothly. So let's say thank you very much to the police, the Edinburgh Police. And finally, not because you necessarily particularly love them any more than anyone else, but the people we're here to send a message to are the politicians. And I think it is vitally important that not only we acknowledge that they came, but to actually thank you, thank them for coming. They don't need to come here today. They could ignore this. If they all ignored it, nobody would notice. But they are starting to realise that cycling is an important issue. That's because you're here. That's why they're here. So I think we should actually have a big thank you for the politicians for coming along today. And finally, just, well, you guys, you've been amazing today. It's, again, this has always been described as one of the friendliest demonstrations there is. It's fantastic. But it proves that you can demonstrate something, you can send a message in a friendly, fun way. And that's exactly what you've all done. I am proud to be among you all. And the difference among us all is incredible. There's, we're just a complete slice through the population. Thank you to everybody who's come from near, far and wide. And all I want now is one last, final, huge Pedal on Parliament cheer. So, anyone who's looking to go back to the meadows now, there is unfeeder rides. So these are lead rides back to the meadows, they'll get you back if you get kids, etc. Those are happening over towards the ice cream van, so you can pick up an ice cream while you head over to the unfeeder rides. Now, don't expect this is the last one. Next year, 2016, we believe there is another election coming up. So next year is going to be incredibly important. So keep an eye on the website. Please, please, please keep supporting Pedal on Parliament and please keep riding your bikes. Thank you very much.